Hello, my name is Wayne Littlefield, and we're very pleased to present the series of videos on performing process improvement within companies using CMMI. The series of videos that we're preparing are primarily focused on ways organizations are typically looking to improve their business from a viewpoint of better quality, on-time delivery, and within budgets. A brief introduction of myself. I have about 23 years of engineering experience in electrical engineering, circuit design, software engineering, project management, management, and in the latter part of my career, I started becoming involved very heavily in process improvement. Process improvement is based on using a model, and the model is CMMI. This is the model here. I'm a CMMI lead appraiser, CMMI high maturity lead appraiser and a CMMI instructor. So what is CMMI? CMMI is the model, capability, maturity, model, integrated. And this series of videos is focused on what is CMMI, how do, it, how do companies throughout the world use it, and what are all the pieces and parts inside the model that make it the de facto standard it's become across the world. I've worked in the industry of engineering, electrical engineering, software engineering, project management, process improvement for about 35 years now. I started out as an engineer, electrical engineer, working in uh, uh, hardware design, electrical design, amplifiers, schematics, things like that, logical designs, moved into software, and in my software uh, experience was uh, primarily microprocessor based, assembly language, things of that nature, then moved into mid-range computing, uh, factory floor automation systems, high-speed data collection, then moved into legacy systems, mainframe applications, COBOL, and uh, PL1, DL1. In 1990, I became engaged when I worked at Eastman Kodak Company in a process improvement initiative using software CMMI. Worked on that program and became very, very um, excited about process improvement and about what benefits could be gained from process improvement. I guess you could say I found my love <laughs> in my career. From there I moved uh, very rapidly into uh, process improvement uh, engagements all over the world. I worked for Rockwell International for a while, was Rockwell Collins, uh, doing process improvement at the corporate level. Then moved into consulting. I've been very fortunate to work all over the world. Uh, last count, I think it was close to close to 100, 90 some companies now, in Japan, Korea, Singapore, Europe, Italy, UK, and of course in the United States. Worked in all aspects of the various business domains that use software, which is just about everyone on the planet these days. Uh, worked in avionics aerospace, manufacturing, uh, insurance, banking, and on and on and on. One thing that I found was common that uh, makes me really uh, uh, excited about process improvement is that all of these different businesses still using software in different ways have the same challenges and that is making better products on time within budget. Uh, that's why I've been very, very lucky to work in all these different domains because the problem is the core problem of process improvement and how to tackle it and how to stand up a really viable program that will help a business stay in business, gain customers through satisfaction, customer satisfaction, and just generally competing in a worldwide market that we're finding ourselves all in these days. What we hope to share with you in these videos is to help you understand how to use CMMI, how to use it to do better business, how to cut costs, how to have higher quality. The model is basically the standard of the world right now for performing process improvement, doing better business, higher quality products, less defects, better customer satisfaction. These are all the major elements that go into a successful CMMI program. CMMI, of course, is made up of maturity levels, but achieving a maturity level is usually a byproduct. Successful companies that have implemented CMMI and process improvement 
using a lot of these concepts that we'll share with you, have achieved better products, on-time deliveries, and cost reductions in their projects. Uh, definition of one's success. I can't define my own success, but I do know that I have a passion for process improvement. And there is a reason why. It's because I've been lucky enough to be in this business long enough to have actually witness, actually observe companies going through process improvement and achieving the benefits. I've actually have companies that uh, I personally watch them grow, watch them go from maturity level one to maturity level two to maturity level three, maturity level four. The amazing part is I have to do a timeout with them to remind them what they were like three or four or five years ago. And it's amazing when they say, wow, that's right, we were out of control. Uh, we, were, we weren't delivering on time. But now their quality has gone up. They have numbers to prove it. Their costs have gone down. They have numbers to prove it. And they have much happier customers. So I've actually witnessed the effects of doing good process improvement. And with those companies, the main ingredient was that they started smart. They started smart. They focused on business objectives. Why do we want to do process improvement? Not just to get to a maturity level. Maturity levels are a byproduct. The real benefit is achieving results and sustaining results, staying in business. The, uh, the interesting phenomena that I have seen performing process improvement throughout the world is that we're all human beings. And there are these things called perceptions. And when I'm working with organizations, I, I, I see these perceptions all the time. And my job is to convince some of these engineers that I work with that process improvement could actually make their life better. The perceptions, which we talked about in one segment, are things like CMMI is bureaucrat bureaucracy. It's red tape. It's overhead. It's going to impede my, uh, my creativity. It's going to you know, lock me up. And the interesting part is, um, with companies that I've convinced through my various techniques of please try the process and then tell me if it's constraining you, uh, what typically happens is over time the same engineers come back to me and say, wow, life is better here. We have more time to, uh, to be creative. There's less, uh, how would I say it, firefighting. There's less overtime, more time to spend with their family. These are little interesting byproducts that I see over time where people's lives actually change. And I do have close personal friends that have worked in level two, level three, level four companies. And they would leave those companies to take a position with another company because of say a pay raise or a position change. And those very same people told me that after they were there for a short period of time, next thing you know, they're out the door because they couldn't stand going back to a chaotic environment. It's just, an, uh, just a fascinating uh, phenomena that I've, I've, I've witnessed myself. So when it comes right down to it, regardless of who you are, what you do in your projects or your company, CMMI can actually change your life. Whether you're a CEO, an executive manager, a program manager, a project manager, engineer, tester, configuration management, doesn't matter. CMMI, when implemented properly and with everybody engaged, everybody wins. The CEO wins because the company is strong, building good products, growing, happy customers, high stock prices, life is good. To the engineers right on the projects, less overtime, less burden, more uh, uh, confidence that the estimates that they made were, are actually true, that the schedules that have been developed are actually realistic. So this all sounds like smoke and mirrors when they start out with process improvement, but trust me, once it happens, everybody wins. So once again, we'd like to say, welcome to the website, and also to share a little bit of, uh, of what our desires are, is we're hoping that this will become a two-way street between you, us, and all of you. This should be an information sharing, a place where we can come and learn about process improvement. 
hopefully promoting process improvement within Turkish companies primarily. The hope is that you'll give us feedback. You'll ask questions we'll, that we can then address in the form of answers and in the form of future presentations. So we're hoping that you'll come back often and that you'll share and you'll become engaged in our, um, our program here to try to spread the knowledge of process improvement throughout Turkey.